Hey Shiz, welcome back to Nisi Girl Tarot. So we're here to do the Daily Collective for Thursday, October 6th. Okay. This is the collective for Thursday, October 6th. We have our full moon on the 9th, that's Sunday. And I'm using the Moonology deck. So what do we have for collective for Thursday, October 6th? For the collective, Thursday, October 6th. Thursday, October, okay. You ready? Okay. It says, expect powerful change. New moon eclipse. It's beautiful. With your hard work is paying off, new moon in Capricorn. Okay? So, your hard work is paying off, okay? Expect powerful change. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right. Let's this message. All right, expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. There it is, finally. Okay. If you want affirmation that you can achieve your dreams and get the desired outcome in the situation you're asking about, then this is it. This is a card of beginnings and there are powerful energies at work. But be prepared. It could be quite a ride. Quite a ride. Okay? And events now could even be jarring and uncomfortable. However, any new directions you take will almost always lead somewhere better than where you are at the moment. Whatever is happening now is happening for a reason. You'll appreciate later on. A new portal is opening up. And all you have to do is have the courage to forget about the past and move through it. You're being put back on the right path. There is nothing to fear. Yes, yes, a thousand times yes. You're being shunted towards your life purpose. Whatever is happening now is happening for your highest good. Okay? This is an important turning point in your life. All right. We did a hard work is paying off. Yes. All right, let's see what this could be. I'm gonna use this deck to kind of get a little better understanding of what um, expect powerful change is about, okay? Let's see. Why is expect powerful change here for the collective? This is good, this is good. We do have a lot of planets going direct right now, okay? So this is great. Why is expect powerful change here for the collective? Spirit. Listen. For real, I'm not joking. Yeah. Boundaries on the bottom. It says no and drawing the line. You are saying goodbye to something. You are saying farewell. You are saying adios, amigos. Okay? Yes. You are bringing closure to a situation. Understand that you doing that. Is for your highest good, okay? You can expect some change now. Oh, yeah. It's going to... You're being shunted. Then they say you're being shunted into the direction you're supposed to go, okay? One more for the collective. Why is expect powerful change here? All right. Why is expect powerful change here for the collective today? Okay. Expect powerful change. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> Something is definitely ending, right? Something, there's a goodbye. There's a closure. But you are moving on to calmer waters. 
things are changing in a positive direction for you. Okay. Why is this spec pack with change here for the collective? Uh -huh. Queen of Cups. Right? That is the Queen of Love. Okay. You are rebuilding. Okay. With a very loving energy. Someone who is sweet, kind, and gentle. Okay. Fat, healthy, and strong. Where did I get that from? Sweet, kind, and gentle. But fat, healthy, and strong. Where did I get that from? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you are, listen, you are building this, okay? You might have fear of it, okay? But understand that you're this closing something out, okay? Closing this, this ending that you uh, have created, okay? Because you are drawing lines, you are setting boundaries, all right? Listen, it's just allowing you to move on to calmer waters, okay? With someone who is very loving, okay? Sweet, kind, and gentle, fat, healthy, and strong. Yeah, yeah, Ace of Swords energy with the star, okay? You are getting what it is that you want, okay? Your wishes and hopes and dreams and desires when it comes to um, relationship, maybe. This can be when it comes to, because the Queen of Cups energy is about uh, nourishing yourself, okay? Self-care, care for self, all right? You might be moving into healthier uh outcomes for yourself you're feeling better okay you're smiling more okay you are achieving something okay you're you're getting what you want okay that peace that balance even if it's just peace i don't necessarily want to go into a new relationship i just want to go into peace can i have my peace god yes you feel better you feel healthier you feel strong okay <laughs> sweet kind and gentle fat healthy and strong Yes. Why is a spec power change here for the collective? Mm-hmm. The Ten of Swords and the Emperor. Okay. You um set boundaries um on a situation, maybe with a very controlling energy, okay, maybe with an emperor and Aries even, okay, someone that was trying to control things, um, someone that was trying to like, you know, um, that was that was kind of changing your character even, all right. But this ten of swords, all right, you put it into it, okay. You did and done that, okay, because you were like, it's time for change. I want something that's more balanced, more equal give and take, something that's going to give back to me, or I want to create my own balance. I'm going to overcome this emperor, this person that's trying to control my life, okay. Yes, yeah. With the seven of pentacles and the devil energy, the seven of pentacles fell on the ground, did not turn over, so I'm coming back. You might have been taking some time to actually think about it, review it. You wasn't sure. Am I making the wrong decision? Whatever the case may be, okay? But because of all your hard work, all right, you are able to move past something because you finally said, you know what? This is it. Mm -hmm. And with this hangman energy, all right, you might have... Um, it might have been keeping you stuck and stressed. Mm hmm Yeah. The situation was keeping you very stuck and stressed out. Right? But you had the courage to do something. Right? And now it's creating success in your life. Okay? You are actually achieving something. Right? Spirit wants you to look at things differently. Okay? This change. Okay? This ten of swords. This um, closure. Okay? This goodbye. This adios amigos. You setting boundaries. It's what's best for you, okay? So if you're looking at it like, did I do the right thing? Yeah, there you go. Came out, okay? When this tower happened, you in review like, did I do the right thing? Did I make the right decision? Did I go too far? No. Did the right thing, okay? But this Ace of Swords right on top of that, you'll have the clarity that you did, okay? Yeah. Look, look at that question. Did I make the wrong choice? Look at her. Did I make the wrong choice? Did I do the wrong thing? Nope. Okay. <laughs> and you will see. All right. Because this closure, all right, this farewell, you setting boundaries, all right, is good. It allows you to move on to calmer waters. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so this is all because your hard work is paying off. Let's read that message. New moon in Capricorn.
Okay, it says this. First and foremost, this card suggests a new start for you professionally. Yeah, whatever has been going on in your working life, this card heralds the start of a new and improved work cycle. If you're unhappy in your current job, this is a time to either renegotiate your position or look for something new. Whatever your question, whether work-related or otherwise, a new plan and strategy is called for. Whatever your question, whether it's work-related or otherwise, a new plan and strategy is called for. You need to look at the long term and think about where you want to be in 12 months, okay, or even five years. That will inform your best course of action now. So think seriously about it. Drawing this card suggests it's time for you to be ambitious about whatever it is that you want to achieve. Mm -hmm. So if something just doesn't align with that plan you had for 12 months or even five years, right? why is your hard work is paying off here for the collector? Why is this card here? Your hard work is paying off for the collector. Okay. You could even be saying goodbye to a job because, you know, it's just what's better for you. It's just, you know, you're doing what's best for you. You guys are working you like a slave. Okay? Yeah. So understand that you're better off here with the better off card. Okay? You are going into a direction that's going to make you happy. Okay? Is um. It's going to change your perspective, all right? It's going to create a clear headspace for you, okay? Yeah. And with the bottom of the deck saying, the heart song, it says inner knowing, telepathy, and intuition. You know that. You know it. Mm -hmm. You know that it's going to create a better life for you. You know that this move is going to be a better outcome for you. You know it. That's that ace of swords. Remember, you under review, but with that ace of swords, you know. Your hard work is paying off. Why is this card here for the collective? Your hard work is paying off. Oh, that's a little lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. Your hard work is paying off for the collective spirit. Why is this card here? You know that whatever direction you're going into is going to make you happy. Mm -hmm. Seven of Cups. Okay. With the Two of Cups in Temperance. All right. You might be worried about a union. OK, looking at a union. OK, um, thinking about like, you know, is this what I'm really supposed to be doing? Is this the direction I'm supposed to be going? Should I actually be collaborating with this person? Is this something that I'm supposed to be active in? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it's going to make you happy. OK, you know, it's going to uh, create opportunities for you to really build upon something. OK, you know, it's going to um, give you the opportunity to really stamp something in your life. OK, it's going to help you meet that 12 month plan. It's going to help you meet that five year goal. Right. Because someone else was holding you back from doing that. OK, could have been an Aries, a Leo or a Sagittarius, but someone was making you. um a miser okay someone was keeping you stuck okay someone was holding you back from all of what you wanted to accomplish and with the high priestess energy you know that mm -hmm. your hard work is paying off why is this card here for the collective mm -hmm. Listen, listen, are you listening? Okay. <laughs> so, once you um, set boundaries, right, say your farewell, okay, to a situation and, um, you know, put forth your hard work, that, that tower energy um, creates this ten of cups, okay? 
That sudden change creates emotional bliss for you. You're feeling loved. You're feeling liked. Okay? Things are working for you. Things are manifesting for you. Um, all the things you wanted to and you were aspiring for are starting to come in. Okay? You feel um, safe in your partnership. Okay? Two of cups on the bottom. Okay? You feel loved in your partnership. Okay? You feel like it's mutual and balanced. Okay? You're not juggling that anymore. You're not juggling the idea of it anymore. You're concrete and settled in it. Okay, doesn't it feel good? Okay, because you moved on and did what was best for you with that Queen of Cups energy. Uh -huh. Yeah. Three of Cups is that you're enjoying yourself. You're having good times. You have, you're around people who make you happy. You are um, celebrating with friends and family. Okay, you are happy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So whatever change you're making is for your good. Okay. So your hard work is paying off. Yeah, you're working with new people. You're collaborating with new people. It's all good and positive energy. You're happy every day that you go to work. You're happy every time you come home. Doesn't feel good. That's what I have for you, Shit. I hope this helped. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hey. I'm going to make it into a song. What y'all think? I miss you guys already. Bye.